Welcome to Vlogmas episode 3. I'm going to get ready for an event at Nora, which is one of my favorite restaurants in LA. The first thing I'm doing is I'm spraying my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Currently, I'm using this triple hyaluronic acid by Allies of Skin. And I really like it so far. I used it all during my trip in Hawaii and it just really keeps my skin moisturized, moisturized and nice and I'm just tapping that in promoting the collagen in my skin using piano fingers and tapping motions the next thing I'm gonna do is use this SPF um, Eleanor from spread fashion recommends SPF to me um, she did say that the formula on Amazon is different from the one on derm store so I recommend you going to derm store and getting it I got the Amazon one on accident and the formula is not the same, but it's still good and I use it every day. So now I am ready to move on to my foundation. I recently picked back up this foundation. I've been using it for a while. I actually did a sponsored post with CoverGirl a while back. This is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir um, in warm beige and it's one of my favorite for kind of a fuller medium to full coverage it's very buildable I really, really like it because it has good skincare ingredients in there too to keep your skin looking nice and healthy but I just use a little bit and apply it with my fingers yeah there's certain like sponsored products and brands that I worked with that I learned about it through the collaboration but then also like hooked on it and haven't stopped using it and some of those things like that includes this foundation um the contacts that i use every day surprisingly was a sponsored post i did with alcon and it's the only contacts i can wear that doesn't dry my eyes out like i've had to say no to a lot of contact um, sponsored posts because i'm i love these and i don't plan on switching them because my eyes are so dry and sensitive. Anyways, as you can see, the coverage is really nice and it evens out my skin tone. All right, so then the bronzer, just the same one I've been using for so long. This is the Tarte Hotel Eris bronzer and this just adds depth back into my skin after the foundation. And it's like a really nice color. I also really recommend Hoola by Benefit. It's a very popular one. Um, but it is a little bit orangey for me in the winter time. What I'm doing right now is basically my everyday makeup. It's very simple. So after the bronzer, I go in with Lorac. This is a highlighter. It is called Glow for Gold. I really recommend it because I use it as a highlighter and an eyeshadow. It's so pretty, especially with the holidays. Like this color is perfect. It's this like shimmery gold. Okay, and then I'm just going to use my finger to put it in my inner corner of my eyes to make it look nice and bright. And then I'm going to tap excess onto the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. Next, I'm going to go in with Bare Minerals. This is the Bellini Brunch Colored Blush. And honestly, I'm so minimalist. I use the same brush for my bronzer, blush, and highlighter every day. Like, the same brush. I can't be bothered. I tend to do that with a lot of my makeup. I'll use things for, like, um, multiple, multiple different ways. Like, the highlighter I use for his eyeshadow, the brush I use for everything, and then I also do the same thing with my eyebrow pencil. This is the It Cosmetics Universal Taupe Brow Power Pencil. And I use this to fill in my eyebrows, but I also use it to contour my nose. So, that's how I roll, I guess. It's just like the perfect taupey, shadowy color. It works really well for this. 
So see, I draw two lines like that. And then I use my fingers to blend it out. It's very subtle, but it makes a difference. Next, I'm using this lip stain. Uh, this is also something that I also got on a sponsored trip with Clarence to Costa Rica and have been obsessed and buying these ever since. Um, uh, this lip stain is very mm, pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And it lasts a lot longer than the Etude House water lip that I used to use every day. I mean, I still use it, but this is just such a nice stain. It really stains the lips. That is that. And then I also am using the Ilia. This is the Clean Beauty line. I did a whole review on their entire line of product that they sent me. Um, but this is one that I use every day. It is their brown eyeliner. I still pull my eyelid when I do my eyeliner, which is so bad. I know this, but I do it anyway. Last thing I'm going to take that same bronzer that I used and use it as eyeshadow for the outer corner of the eye. And that is it. This is my makeup look. This is the dress I'm going to wear today to lunch. Okay, so I just got back from the amazing event. It was so much fun. I really did not expect to do some arts and crafts there. So Orbe collaborated with Block Shop, which sells these like amazing textiles with like wood block printing on them. And they showed us the process and everything and we got to try it out ourselves. It's a sister run company and they get all their textiles from India and do all the printing there. So this looks so beautiful, gorgeous. And in here are all of Orbe's um, beauty products. So there's a lip treatment, moisturizing cream, shampoo and conditioner. I got one of these last year and it just was so nice to have because they're all um, travel sized items. I got something from Vital Protein. This is, oh, blueberry moon milk collagen latte. It says 10 grams of bone broth collagen, melatonin, and GABA magnesium for restful sleep. I will definitely try this out. This is from Brava. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of my new oven. Um, I cook in it every single day, multiple times a day. It's so convenient. It's made cooking so easy. Oh my God. I can't wait to cook with this. Right on time for the holidays. This is the egg tray that fits into the Brava and it cooks perfect eggs or mini pancakes. We are currently making dinner. We have marinara simmering on the stove. We have spaghetti squash cooking up in here and it's almost done. We have lamb sirloin and a big salad, spinach, uh, heirloom tomatoes, sweet potato, and apples. Love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pantry. Can you put this on top since you're the tallest person in the tub? No. The very top, babe. <laughs> That's not staying on very good. Simba, He's all up in our business right now. Simba, you're Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Here you go. It's done. Good job. Yep. Grab one of these. 
It's like a fishing hook. Yeah. Right? Pick the smaller side onto the ornament. That's the bigger side. Don't you? No, you don't need to do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be that difficult. You're not. Alright, it's done. No, we have. Look how many we have to do. All of those. We have. have yeah, all sixty of these have to go on, and we 60? have. We have more here. You're kidding. No. Get to work. You've done one ornament. Wow. Eight, made the milk and seven swans swimming, six geese are laying five. 